Hello, hello, hi guys. Welcome back to the Football Showdown channel. Today we are going to talk about the Euros 2024, which is going to be held at Germany. Well, uh, it's kind of ironic how uh, two Indian dudes are supporting the English team, as you can see from the background. Uh, but guess what? It is completely because of the Premier League bias that we have. I support Arsenal. My friend, uh, he supports Warden. If you guys have already been on this uh, channel and have watched the UCL Roundup, you might recognize him. But Uh, I will reintroduce him. Uh, he's my best friend from school. He's been very supportive of me uh, doing uh, YouTube videos. To be honest, he sort of put that idea in me when uh, he initially was surprised uh, that I didn't make YouTube uh, videos or not part of the vlogging squads. Uh, so yeah, hi Vardhan, how are you? It's been a while. I'm good, man. The Premier League's over now, and um, congratulations yeah. on the second uh, place trophy. And uh, for a second year in a row, congratulations on the almost won the Premier League trophy. Uh, <laughs> but you had a great season, hey! You had a great season. I have massive mm-hmm. respect for Arsenal. Uh, I think you guys got it even closer than last time, and there were a lot of games where you would have thought that Arsenal would have faltered last season, but you guys didn't do it this season. So good on Arsenal for that, and I'm sure they'll be strong as well next season. It just all mm-hmm. depends on how the transfer window pans out for a lot of teams, actually. Um, yep, yep. So yeah, looking forward to that. But there's a big summer of football ahead of us. Oh yeah, June 14th. I I honestly can't wait. You know, like the Premier League got over, and then uh, cricket has not been so friendly for me at least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, and with the T20 World Cup starting in like in a few hours, I don't think many Indian fans are too excited about it because I mean whatever. But yeah, I think Euros is something which many football fans are waiting. So without any. Other further uh, talking and chit chatting. Let's discuss on uh, the 33 players that could potentially make it into uh, Southgate squad because there have been huge names have been missing. Uh, so yeah, before we get into the video, uh, I'd like all of you to keep supporting me on the channel by keep subscribing, for liking, and for commenting on all the videos. Uh, we're trying to hit that 500 mark as soon as possible. So if you guys are not yet subscribed, keep subscribing and keep uh, commenting as well, because that is how we build a community. Uh, let's get into the video right now. Well, this is the tier list that we have come up with. We're going to base them on four categories. That is, we'll start in the squad for sure, on the plane, and watching Euros with us, me. Warden and the rest of the England fans out there. Well, before we go into the squad, uh, Warden, what do you think about the big names missing this season? Because honestly, it's quite amazing about the kind of big names that are already missing for the Euro squad. I feel like of the ones that I recall, who mm. are definitely not, who are definitely missing by Southgate's choice, could be oh. Raheem Sterling, Marcus Rashford, and well, your very own Ben White. Um, mm. So I guess yeah, I guess yeah, we could talk about them. I guess if we start with Raheem Sterling, I guess he's been one of Southgate's uh, biggest options for a long time, mm-hmm. uh, and it's it's very strange to see that he's actually dropped Raheem Sterling because that's something I was really not expecting. Um, right. And he's not had the greatest of seasons, albeit he mm. played well against City. Uh, mm. Ironic. Uh, but he's just—he's. I don't think he's had it in him for a long time. I feel like England end up in these positions where they dominate the ball and they just don't mm. finish, and that costs them the whole game. It happens way too often, and the mm. other team mm. just goes on, gets one chance, and scores. Um, it still haunts me how Kiesa scored against England uh, <laughs> last Euros, and uh, yeah. Kiesa is brilliant. Please come to City. Mm. Thank you. Um, but um, uh, don't don't bring the ACL with you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he's. Let's be honest. I mean, Raheem Sterling has passed this time. I mean, he's, he's one of those players who know how to be in the right place at the right time, mm-hmm. but they struggle to tap it into the goal, and right. it's a bit like he's our very own Nicholas Jackson, and mm-hmm. uh, it's not, it's not worth having in the team at the moment. Mm-hmm. Albeit, I would say leadership is quite the essential element, but there are, I would say, a key few players in the squad already who can offer that, you know, um, robust experience and whatever mm-hmm. they can bring in with that. So I think Raheem Sterling is fine. Moving on okay. to Ben White, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, ben White, um, what from what I've heard about or from what the stories have come out is for the fact that you know, uh, apparently. Uh, the assistant coach, I kind of forgot his name. I, I don't want to butcher the name as well by saying a random name. We'll just call him assistant coach, right? So 
so apparently uh, during a stats meeting or something during uh, the world cup time uh, the assistant coach asked a walker and a, a walker ben white and some of the other uh, england defenders as well regarding what are the defensive stats of your uh, specific uh, uh, club teams walker knew about all of his stats and all the stats uh, of the di- of all the defensive duties in city and the other defenders as well knew apparently but ben white didn't know so when ben white didn't know uh the assistant coach apparently shouted at him in front of all his teammates saying that let's because you don't care about football much or you don't care much about football i mean to be fair to ben white i think not every player out in the world knows all the defensive uh, records or the team's defensive records and uh, yeah ben white is kind of player for who he is right Uh, he is he doesn't care about football but he plays well that's all matters at the end of the day but the kind of humiliation that had happened in front of all his teams in spite of all the you know uh, from the outside world where it looks like a lovey dovey uh, uh, scene uh, for the england squad uh, uh, unlike the golden era where you know uh, we had multiple players fighting against each other because of the club rivalry coming in between so uh, from what i understand is the fact that he was mistreated by the assistant coach uh southgate was in there to protect his player as well and then he said you know what as long as he's there i am i'm not going to play for the england squad no matter what and yeah that that's all i know we do not know how far it is to that's all the reports that have been coming out from the art from the athletic other uh, people apparently close to the england squad as well so um, yeah um it's a big loss for england to be fair uh, he would have been a great addition to uh the the defensive line either as a right back or as a center back as well so but yeah it is what it is and not all players feel comfortable playing for all managers right in spite of being called up to the national squad yeah i guess that makes sense at the end of the day i mean if he feels uncomfortable being in a place where wherever he is all be it the reasons for excluding him are very silly mm. despite mm. i guess you were the best defense one day this season you you conceded the least goals so Correct, yeah um yeah it's a bit strange i mean i know gabriel and saliba get all their dues but mm. your right was actually quite solid um yeah. and your left was a bit sh- well very shaky for the largest mm-hmm. part of the season so yeah I, i didn't quite understand that i mean i always knew walker was maybe the first choice mm. pure right back and i say pure right. only because right. I don't know if he's going to utilize the ex Guardiola system where he's going to put Trent in the midfield mm, um, yeah. while playing right back and he's not going to use mm. Walker at all. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm I'm not really sure how Southgate plans on doing that but it is a very good chance that Trent actually starts in place of him but we'll have that conversation. Uh, and moving on to Rashford now. I mean I guess I I have strong opinions about this to be fair. I mean I'm a City fan. I I obviously don't not like any united player and i couldn't care less what happens to them but um rashford is a weird one i i don't think he is a bad player i do, i don't think he is a bad football player he offers a lot of pace related threat that not a lot of other players around the world can he is very inconsistent he doesn't track back that well he doesn't track back at all Mm-hmm. And I guess I'm only saying negatives. Yet I'm trying to make a point of why he should be there. But mm-hmm. you need difference makers sometimes in this squad. And at the end of the day, he has a shot on him. Like True. he has a good True. shot on him. Right. I, I don't see why he's not even in the squad. Mm-hmm. Despite having I mean, like, it, it kind of goes against all the Southgate uh, things, you know. Like he says, de- depending on form, I'm going to choose players. Then he chooses yeah. Maguire. He chooses Luke Shaw. who has not been consistent for their clubs or have been injured for most part of the time and then like like we've seen in the uh, 2023 I mean, 22 world cup i don't know why maguire was chosen but we all know maguire is good uh, for his club uh, for his country apart from his uh, club uh, luke shaw same situation rashford same situation we've seen that even in the euros as well so i genuinely thought rashford is one of the few people who would be selected in spite of having uh, shit couple of seasons to be fair but uh, yeah genuine surprise genuine genuine surprise that he was not uh, there part of the uh, squad at least a professional squad well i guess at the end of the day he has chosen people based off of form and it is safe to say they were he wasn't in good form he has had mm-hmm. a pretty pretty bad season for his own standards to say the very mm-hmm. least mm-hmm. so um, mm-hmm. 
So yeah, we move. I mean, bygones are bygones in it. Like if they're not in, they're not in. We can only focus on the ones who are in and the ones who are going to start and hopefully bring us the glory. Uh, so yeah. We are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, English is called glory. I mean, that's all we can say. It's coming yeah, on, yeah, lads. It's coming on. Um, uh, right. So I guess we can start with the uh, young, young champion, Adam Wharton. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel I feel like yeah, that great season. I mean, as I think we had this we had this conversation just not too long ago. You were saying he's been linked to quite a few other bigger clubs as well, and he's been in the media. But like Jared Brantford, really, I mean, maybe yeah. a little bit less hype than Jared Brantford because I feel like Jared Brantford came into life quite towards the early end or la- end of last season sort of thing. So everyone yeah. knows of how good he is and he's really yeah. tall and he can play the ball well. Same with Adam Wharton. I think he's, yeah. he's a good good option. I don't think, he, well, he doesn't start. I no, he, he, he won't be fair. Okay. Huh. In the squad, I guess when we're saying in the squad, are we talking about them being a bench option and on the plane yeah. being they're going to travel but not really play? Um, mm-hmm. I, I think, mm. I think he can be a bench option, and I don't think he's gonna be someone on the plane. And the only reason I say that is mm. because some of our, uh, well, my very own centre back, my Johnny Boulders, isn't very <laughs> reliable to play. Uh-huh. He might play for fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, mm. and I don't know what's gonna happen after that. Anything after that mm. is a bonus made. Like he, he can come off with an injury as he has been for a long time. So I don't mm-hmm. really know. Harry Maguire, I don't know. <sighs> Only because it's Southgate, he could mm. start and which makes me think. Mm. <sighs> it's a very tricky one. Let's, let me just, I think he's a bench option. Let me I, yeah, I, I think for now we'll just keep him as a bench option. We, we can see how, how it goes. I mean, uh, I mean like as a, as an on-plane option, then we'll see. Depending on how we actually think about it, we'll make changes. Uh, Anthony Gordon, uh, oh. in my opinion, I feel he will be a squad option because on that left side, after dropping Sancho, after dropping Rashford, after dropping Sterling, I think if Anthony Gordon is not part of the at least the bench, I do not know why Anthony Gordon is part of that squad. I think it only makes sense for him to be at least part of the squad. Um, Definitely. And he's had a great season and he offers that base mm. late threat and he has a good pass on him. He's got a good shot on him. He's, mm-hmm. and, he, and he presses. He presses really, really well. So, mm-hmm. I say Anthony Gordon is a very good solid rotation option. So, we'll keep uh, him in squad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bukayo Saka. Starts. That starts. Yeah. Literally, don't need to have any conversation about this. We don't have too many great right wing options. The only mm-hmm. thing I can think of is either him or Cole Palmer on the right, which is a very mm-hmm. solid argument, to be honest, because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. the option is a good penalty taking option as well, unlike <clears throat> um, Saka. But uh, um, a certain Harry Kane also missed a certain penalty against a certain France team, which a certain France team went to the final. I know, it's only banter, but he was also young and I, I don't even think he should have been called upon to take a penalty. True, true. I um, mean, it's generally funny like how Southgate faced that situation when he was around that age and then he does the same thing to Sancho, to uh, to Rashford, to Saka. So it was just, yeah. I, I, I think it's Saka, right? I think he starts, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think at least like, We've seen Saka do well for England, so I think Saka is an automatic mm-hmm. option. But I think the track record that Palmer has cooped up mm-hmm. in this very spe- specific season, which brings mm-hmm. us to the next player that is Cole Palmer, I think he's definitely a, a squad player. Like I'm sure he will be brought on at least. Do you know, do you know what I think? I think this, just the plane. You need, we need to throw this up in between. I think we can discuss Jack Grealish and Cole Palmer in the same... The only reason I say that because I have a strange really? feeling Cole Palmer mm. might start on the left wing. It's just a very strange feeling. It's not like I haven't seen him do it before. He has done uh-huh. it before for City and he's mm. done it quite effectively as well. Because he actually mm-hmm. has a good cross on him and he's a very mm-hmm. good passer of the ball. He has mm-hmm. pace. Mm-hmm. And if Foden starts in the middle, I don't see mm-hmm. any reason why he shouldn't. Because he's had mm-hmm. that linked up with Foden for a long time because they were in the academy together. Mm. 
I don't see how it's not something that can be done, but it's really up to whether Grealish starts or whether he chooses to be safe and he starts mm. Grealish on the left, or he mm. chooses to use the best people in form and who deservedly need to have a spot on the team, albeit not in their favorable positions. Mm. I think Cole Palmer could start left wing, and this may be. is a question with you like do you think it's going to be him starting on the left wing or is it going to be jack rivers if it is purely out of form i would start palmer you know but yeah. to be very fair southgate has not started grealish that often for england as well right so we but actually who, do not know what is the situation yeah, but Because who like, else even hmm. starts on the left wing to be honest i mean if he if Gordon? he go Well, we've put him in there. He could start Gordon, to be honest with you. It's really mm. up in the air with these three people. Mm-hmm. Only thing I can think of is, could he start Madison on the left? Would Would you put Would you put Foden uh, on the left? That's what I was gonna say, but I I I genuinely think that's gonna be the biggest mistake ever. Like mm-hmm. we all know how good Foden's been down the middle. It would be an atrocity, exactly. a monstrosity. Mm-hmm. to mm. put him there i mm. i i'm i just not ready to agree after seeing so much of the season southgate has the courage in him to not play him down the middle i say for him mm. start start the middle and it's going to be one of parma grealish or gordon mm. Mm. i think he might start with grealish in the first okay. few games to see if our attack is still creative and grealish mm. offers a he's rather physical he knows how to control the tempo of the game gordon the mm. bit more mm. relentless he's going to try and attack his man really just want to do that all the time and that might help mm. keep england in counter attacking shape to not get countered mm. so i think because saka is starting on the right and saka is fairly attacking mm. i say grealish starts and grealish starts for that reason but again mm. the the, the mm. complicated part is cole palmer can do a bit of everything He can control exactly. the tempo. He can attack if any. I say Cole Palmer starts. Let's let's leave it at that. I Cole Palmer starts. Okay. I think he starts yeah. on the left wing, and I think it might be a bit of a fluid one. Every time Palmer yeah. comes down the middle, Ford and shifts out wide. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A, a fluid, just like City does it with Doku yeah. and uh, Palmer. So uh, so go do do Doku and Ford and sometimes yeah. I say Palmer yeah. starts. Okay. Um, Conor Gallagher. I think he is a squad Rotation. player. I. Rotation, right? It's pretty straightforward. Very straightforward. Hmm. Ah, uh, Curtis Jones. I say he's a rotation option in a game that is well and truly finished. Hmm. So I, so I, I can I, agree with you because I don't have much to say to be fair. So I think he's a good player. Agree. Hmm. 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 Uh, I would put him on the plane for now because I don't know if England's gonna have blowout games. Just oh, knowing Southgate, uh-huh. I, I just don't think England will be blowing out anyone. Mm-hmm, it's probably mm-hmm. going to be two nil or something, but I, I don't see mm-hmm. him starting unless it's a four nil and they're comfortably winning. I don't see him being mm-hmm. subbed off. Uh, mm-hmm. He could. I love Curtis. I love Curtis Jones. He's great, um, but I just don't see it. Uh, yeah, same. I think he's on the plane kind of player. Yeah. Let's say for the plane, anyone who could come in at some point that it doesn't matter. Probably just mm. let's leave it at on the plane because he's just there. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Right, next one easy, very easy. Um, ice, ice, baby. There's literally no, <laughs> there's no need to have that conversation. He's our only DM. He's a great DM. Mm-hmm. He's had a brilliant mm-hmm. season. Mm. Um, yeah, he starts as the DM. Yep. Next player, is he? He plays. Actually, as he comes out, out out from the left, isn't it? He does, and he plays on the middle sometimes as well. Ah. Uh. But now we have Anthony Gordon, Jack Grealish. I say he's on the plane. I don't think he's gonna come on unless. I think he'll be a squad player. He could be a right winger. We don't have too many right wingers on the list, you know. Ha! Huh, or a, or a right winger. I I feel he'll be a squad. Like he'll be like on the team, the squad for sure, on the bench at least. Right. Let's say rotation then. Mm-hmm. We'll keep him the rotation. Um, Aston Villa's concert. Rotation for sure. 
Um, mm. He's a center back who can play right back if needed and come and mm. substitute in for it. And we've seen um, we've seen who is this? We've seen Southgate make that substitution quite a few times. Uh, mm-hmm. He's actually used Konsa in quite a few places. So I would say Konsa is a rotation option because you can see it happening. Fair, fair. I mean, for now we're adding a lot of players in starting and in the squad. We'll see. Uh, Harry Kane, I am not a uh, starting. Uh, um, Harry Maguire. Um, well, oh wait, do you want to discuss about Harry Kane? No. Do you want to start Watkins? Okay. <laughs> No shot. I, uh, I mean, I would, I would like to see what can start. I just don't same, think same. it's same, gonna happen because at the end of the day, Harry Kane still had a great season, so I just don't mm. see it. Um, mm-hmm. Harry Maguire, I am not sure. You know, I, mm. I say rotation because I don't, I don't think he should start, and I don't think he will start. I he think Southgate might is. switch it up a little bit this time. He's going to loosen up a little bit of his favoritism this year, I think. Is it because for the fact that he dropped Sancho, Rashford and Sterling that you think that he'll make more changes to the playing squad? Um, because yeah. Harry Maguire for he's, England he's is just, phenomenal, right? He's exactly absolutely that. phenomenal. So, like, I agree. can you change a player that has been phenomenal for England? I don't think Maguire has been phenomenal for England. He still makes the mistakes he does and he is very strong. I mean, when compared to the rest of the centre-backs out there, I think for England, Maguire brings that, you know, leadership at least. It is in my opinion. I, you could definitely argue about what he let me know. He, I guess he does, but I just, I don't think he starts. I, mm. I, I don't think he starts. I, I would put him in the rotation option. I think he's only there because centre-back is a position that you need to mm. have cover on because anything can happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I say he's a rotation option. Mm. You know what, for now, uh, I'll agree with you and keep him as a rotation option. Yeah. yeah. Um, Dean Henderson, I think he <sighs> will be watching the Euros with us. Yeah, I think Ramsdale is the second option going with Pickford. Mm. I don't think he, yeah, he's going to be watching mm. the Euros with us. Yeah. <laughs> You can probably uh, pick off Stafford from the list and put him there as well right now. Uh, James Stafford, you can put him on the list as well. One by I'm one, one by one. Let's not let's not rush anything. One by right. one, it's, it's coming. Um, right. I went Tony. I, I went Tony. If it, if it was this I went Tony before all the scandal and with his with his like good form and everything, I would have put him at least in his squad. But since him coming back, I think he's what scored three goals and two assists or something, it has not been good in any of the goals that he scored. He's not been performing well at all. Had he been performing, Brentford would have been in a better position than what they finished at. So, in my opinion, I feel he will be watching uh, the Euros with us. Because you have Watkins who is in like red-hot form. Mm-hmm. So, I think Watkins will be in the squad at least, like for sure, no doubt. Like Because Harry Kane is going to start. So, I think Watkins will be that rotation. And uh, Ivan Tony, you know what, actually? I, the I only reason I say him. that is bit, he's a bit like he's a bit like Harry Kane because he can hold up the ball and distribute play. Yeah. And I feel like Southgate likes that. And that's the only reason that I see how Watkins would actually be the one not playing compared to him. Um, oh, you think Watkins would not even make the squad? I think he could become a rotation option or I think he's going to become a not very used option. And it's not it's got nothing to do with what Watkins is. I think he's a phenomenal player. But mm-hmm. I just I just think Southgate likes these bulky strikers who can score a goal when needed but drop back and help the team in build-up. And I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I genuinely think Tony is really, really good at it. He's really strong. Um, it, he is, but like I think post that scandal and with that entire 10-month break, I think Physically, he was not it, at least uh, for 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 majority. I mean, he did he did season. start a recent game for England mm-hmm. and scored. Mm-hmm. And I, I think he had a, quite a few good build-up moments there. And just out of that one game, I think I can tell you that he, he's not gonna drop him. Um, he might be on the plane if that's he, that's the thing. 
you know what I like I I I agree in the pl- on the plane because I yeah. honestly can't see him I you know what on the plane we'll keep him for now we just remember we need to drop seven players because we need to make it 26 we so, can move yeah. them down after we're done with the list exactly we can have that final thought about what we uh grillish i think he Location, will be a squad player because i'm starting yeah, yeah. exactly he could start at a dozen yeah mm-hmm. madison rotation If Palmer is starting, yeah, you know what? Since we put Palmer in the starting part, we'll put Madison. He might, he might be, he might, no, he might be Foden's second option. Yeah, Madison. Is it? I think if Madison a... starts, it'll be a much better option than Foden. I mean, not 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 in terms of like, for, in terms of uh, game, but I think Madison in their midfield will be more effective than Madison coming from the left. What do you think? No, but we are under the assumption that Foden starts in the middle, right? So. He, he's going to come that in and replace Foden in the middle of the bench and I mm-hmm. think that's a good option because he's mm-hmm. a good distributor of the ball so I mm-hmm. say he's a good rotation option mm-hmm. uh, Kwanzaa uh, dude has been good for Liverpool when they were under crisis but um, in, in my opinion I think he will be watching the Euros so <laughs> I think he's going to be watching the Euros so yeah. it's good that at least he's made the provisional squad Kudos to him. He's, there's a long way to go. Um, the way he's been playing for Liverpool, I think he will succeed well. But I, I think it's like way too soon for him to like get onto the Euros plane with so many people like deserving and not yet even starting. So um, yeah. Next up, uh, Brathwaite. Uh, do you reckon Brathwaite could be the one who will be making the squad instead of Kwanza? Uh, I think mm. Brathwaite is gonna. Start. Huh? Yeah. Um, who? Why not? Why not? No, he's left footed, who? isn't he? He's yeah. a left footed centre back. Uh, like, why not him and John Stone starting? Who else is gonna start? Gay is gonna start? No. I mean, I think Gay is more deserving than Bratz because Gay has been like so good for uh, Crystal Palace over like. Two and a half Brad season. has been very good as well, and he's left footed. That's the main thing. Ah, I Having think he left is foot as well left footed. If I'm not wrong, is, is he? he now? I think it's between. I just, I just hear more in the media about Branthwaite. I think I just, I think it's gonna be Branthwaite. And, and mm-hmm. he's, he's very good. He's tall. You could use that physicality. He's very good in the air. We need some threat off mm. the corner, so he's gonna be mm. in there. I say Branthwaite starts. I don't. I just don't see any reason why he shouldn't. I don't see Gay starting for England that often either. So you can't just go out right and say Gay starts either. So it's a bit of a tricky one. But just off of the media and everything I'm listening to at the moment, it just feels like Branthwaite could start. Uh, it could very well just be Maguire, you know. Um, ha, it could ha, be amazing. Joe Gomez at centre back, but I don't think that's gonna happen. No, no, Joe, Joe Go- it will come to Joe Gomez, but <laughs> it will come to Joe Gomez, but uh, yeah. I think Brathwaite will be on the plane. Uh, maximum squad, I think he's just there to like get the entire, you know, England vibe. Definitely. Right. Uh, I, like, uh, you can obviously see it on my face that I've not seen enough of uh, Everton games to like to know him if he, how good he is. But I've seen enough to say that okay, he's, he's a he's a good player with very good potential. That is for sure. But do I think uh, he will start in Euros directly? Uh, it's it's too soon in my opinion. Okay, so we can put him on the plane. He's definitely gonna be uh-huh. there. It's gonna be a it's gonna be an option if not anything mm-hmm. else. So. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, Bowen, I think Good. Bowen is the only uh, option for Saka's rotation. Yeah, literally. Yeah, so Bowen definitely. Gomez. Now, we have Kyle Walker. But who and is the right back? His. Who's the right back? I think the only other player who Joe can Gomez. play a right back, right back is like Joe Gomez. We have Konsa as well. We have Konsa as well, but I think having Gomez, who can play the right back option, if Konsa yeah. needs to be played as a centre back, we don't. Know. I think he'll be that spot player, or Rotation. at least he'll be on the plane. Mm-hmm. Rotation. Yeah. Um, John Stones, he should start for England. I do not yeah. think that is a debate. 
unless his injury was just come and you know be like hey guys <laughs> peace <Exactly. laughs> i do not know yeah belgium can you drop box to box decide tackle and rise yeah. bring him mm-hmm. easy oh uh, well tips um i don't he's had a very bad season in my opinion i think he had a I good think, start to the season with the injuries yeah, exactly yeah. injuries didn't help the cause so. right. but i i don't think he's definitely he's definitely not starting um but he's played him at he's played trippier at left back before you see and mm-hmm. because because luke shaw has not been in form there is a yeah. chance that he might play trippier at left back mm-hmm. it's very very possible i i, I, I was If you think in like Southgate's perspective, I think Trippier will start as a left back, and I, we have seen that Trippier start as a left back. Um, but if we want to make sure that we have pace on on both wings, it will sound stupid, but I think Saka starting as a left back and putting uh, Palmer on that on the right wing will bring more. Uh, You know that pace and that thing, quality and form. Shaq is not starting left back, bro. Get I know, I know, I I I know, I know. But uh, Trippier as a left back over Saka, you know what? He he is a good squad player. We'll just have him as a squad player. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm. This is Bellingham's rotation option because Jordan Henderson doesn't exist in the team anymore. This is Bellingham's rotation option on the box to box. It's it's mm. not fake. It's not fake hype. He is that good, and I'm saying good. this for a, I'm saying this for a United player. He is that good. Yep, yep, for sure. Um, I've actually have one opinion. Actually, not an opinion. It's more like a question. To be fair, is Mainu that good, or is Mainu good? But the United midfield is so shit that he turns out to be like he turns to look that good. I think he's that good. Yeah, same. In my opinion, like, exactly. personally, I feel he's like that good. But you know, sometimes the question comes like the United midfield is not that great. Like, sure, I think anyone who d- puts in a decent shift will look good. So is that the whole thing? But I've seen him pre-season yeah. against Arsenal. He's quite he's skillful. Really, really good as well. Yeah, exactly skillful. And he has a bunch of clutch goals as well. One against Wolves. One in the FA Cup as well, so yeah, he's been really good. Um, so my yes. new yeah squad, yeah, in the squad rotation option squad. for Belgium in my opinion. Mm. Uh, um, Kyle Walker starts. I think he starts. I yeah, for sure. Hmm. Well, Lewis Dunk. <sighs> I see him start for England. You know. Hmm. Is it possible that he starts at centre back with John Stones? It is possible. <laughs> I weirdly, you know, with John Stones' uh, incredible uh, in- injury record, I hope there is never a point in Southgate's career where he has to start Lewis Dunk and Maguire at the same time. Like if yeah, that happens, let's say Lewis Dunk is on the plane. <laughs> let's just yeah, yeah. We'll we'll have him plane. for the plane vibes. I I yeah. I, I honestly can't. Yeah. See him start with my. If he starts with Maguire, I'm not watching that England match. I'll just I'll be streaming. I'll just stop my stream. I can't be bothered. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Luke um, Shaw. Luke Shaw. There's no other yeah, left back. Yeah, we have no so left back. Yeah. Luke Shaw. Um, okay. Hmm. You keep saying he's a rotation option. I agree. He might be a rotation, but I feel like he's as much a rotation option as Jared Brantwaite. Hmm. So if you're gonna put Brantwaite on the plane, I would put Kehi on the plane. And then we can move them around in the end. You know what? We'll have a discussion in the end, like you said. Hmm. Watkins squad rotation. Yeah, definitely rotation. Foden, I think he My should boy. be watching the Euros with us. My boy, <laughs> <laughs> he starts, bro. Come on. Yeah, he starts. No starts. doubt. My boy, Pickford starts too. Pickford, All this performance for England. Definitely that number one. Um, Ramsdale. Second. Yep. Second. Trafford, um, too soon. Very lacking. <laughs> He's only here because of that. You've been amazing. You've been amazing for the uh, for the younger times, but uh, he even had a crucial penalty save as well. But yeah, too soon, bro. Too soon. Uh, Trent. Definitely rotation. Mid- 
the midfield hence rotation if he is that right back i think he would start as a right back with uh, walker starting as his partner uh, third center back uh, yeah uh, third center back so as a midfielder mm-hmm. since southgate said midfield i think he would be a rotation in my opinion yeah i think he's a rotation or option. do you weirdly think trent would be the left back it is very possible which is i would keep in this squad and it's really hard to judge i just don't see why luke shaw should and start cuz he's the only natural left back and experimenting in a game when you haven't experimented too much is weird cuz even in the latest england game he's put trent alexander stringing passes from the midfield so i just think that's yeah. going to be in his role i just don't mm-hmm. see why he should do that over bellingham uh, mm-hmm. bellingham is going to play that box to box role and he's going to feed no, the bellingham it, bellingham can't be top for madrid He's been what 26, 29 goals this season. Well, he's and he's been good as, in the first half of the season. Let's just say uh, he had a that, sensational that first half, and then he became mm-hmm. a ghost, just like his brother Haaland in Dortmund. Uh, oh, so, is it? The We're ghost. We're gonna talk of, about that. <laughs> uh, right. So, anyways, I guess my point is Bellingham deserves to start in that. I mean, to be fair, season. Bellingham didn't ghost in the UCL final. He had an assist technically, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. At the time, I had to even like rethink. Oh shit, Bellingham is actually starting, but I'm like, I get it. Then he shifts to Bundo, bro. Mm. Uh, right, that's just another John Stones on there. So now I guess we need to put six people, mm. seven people. We need to put seven people in. So the, how many do we have? One, we have two, three, three, three four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, twenty, twenty-four, um, twenty-seven, thirty. Oh, we have thirty people. We need to remove three more people. No, oh, we need to remove four more people. Exactly, four, four more people. people. I say Adam Wharton and Curtis Jones both. There is a good chance that they don't because I feel like Lewis Dunk is more experienced at the end of the day, and Wharton's only kind of come to life this season. And as good as I think he is, I hmm. think this Euros is not going to be it for him. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Same with Curtis Jones. Hmm. So. Um, so I- what uh, unfortunately you've been great but i think it's uh, too soon and uh, you yeah. will be watching the euros with us no doubt Maybe next euros you'll be playing there i'm sure um sure mm. and then Curtis that is Jones. if he continues his form and everything so yeah yeah he needs to move first mm. uh but yeah okay uh, sorry Curtis Jones i'm sorry yeah, it's not nah <laughs> yeah, to be fair to be fair yeah he's not done that great in the yeah I think there are better options in midfield than him. Now you have even Trent in the midfield, so you can imagine. Brantwaite, I just feel like he's gonna be on there. Tony, we don't. Thing is, Bowen can play strike as well. I think Tony might might be watching the Euros with us as much. As, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I was the one who was backing him, but the more I look at him, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Jared Bowen can play strike. Oli Watkins mm-hmm. can play strike. Harry Kane can mm. play strike. Ford and Clay for false nine if needed. Bellingham can play false nine if needed. Mm. Mm. Saka, I don't know if he can, but if you really put it, I think he can. Gordon can play false nine. I think so Gordon I, I, can play exactly. Huh? Yeah, exactly. So I don't see why we need Tony at all. I guess the only reason we could is he's the only guy amongst them who can hold up apart from Harry Kane. Mm. And that's mm-hmm. the biggest asset he has. But uh, but to be fair, I think. Watkins has developed that side of him because he, he has, what he has. Yes, I agree. Yes, yeah, that's about good. like thirteen assists as well. So I think it should have yeah. been a clear option of him watching the Euros with us. I just started mm-hmm. to realize this, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Bring, bring clearly, Tony will watch it with the lads. <laughs> we'll meet him in the lads. pub. Uh, we'll meet him in the pub and gamble. Um, yeah. And then, so, right, we just need what one. We, I think we've done it, right? See, we have what? 10, 10, 20, 24, 27. Oh, we need to bring one more. God damn. Um, mm. It's Dunk, Vantre, Takehi. Who else can I think of from up there? Trippier. That's the only one I can, that's the only four I can think of. So Trippier, mm-hmm. Vantre, Dunk, and Gehi. I say Gehi. Yeah. I don't think he, yeah, you. I know you're backing him, but bro, he's not getting over Dunk just for of experience. 
uh, uh, I think the dunk will be in the squad side of things in the end but yeah. obviously um is it too soon for brathwaite like does gay deserve it more than brathwaite um i think let's yeah. not be like southgate and like this side uh just for the sake of it i think let's let just see it right brathwaite when when was the last uh, when when did he start like popping off last season end of last season A- yes. end of last season exactly yeah. magi i think has been good for over two and a half yeah, seasons but, but that's how southgate would think like i said okay i don't i don't if you were to go by how southgate might do it this season i think brandwaid has been all over the hype he is good he is that good he is tall he can play the ball he is a left footed center back he is 65 you know think he's 65 or 66 that's massive uh so i think we need some aerial powers uh so we we keep him and so you think uh that that will make play. it over magi yes i know i think it's cross fine but i yeah i agree with you then well um guys if you guys think uh, there are some changes that need to be happening in this squad do let us know in the comment section this is our final squad with uh, for sure pickford saka palmer rice harry kane john stones luke shaw bellingham walker and foden starting for sure who is the 11th person we honestly do not know there are many permit uh, combinations and permutations that can happen it could be gordon it could be Madison, uh, we have no idea. Honestly, we have no have idea. Have you missed out on someone who's not? Sorry. Have you missed out on someone who's definitely going to start? Uh, I, I, think Trent, start? I think Trent. I think Trent. Yeah, but who are we missing out on? So we have a goalkeeper. We have one right back. Hmm. We don't have two centre backs. That's it. Where there is one centre back that we need to put in there as a starter. Hmm. Uh, yeah, who I think some. um it could very well be konsa you know um konsa what to, yeah he has Con- been Con- showing okay. interest okay in, okay you said you said konsa okay i heard konsa he has been showing interest in konsa recently and there is a chance mm-hmm. he could start um mm-hmm. it, it i think it's one of brand weight or konsa i don't think joe gomez starts at center back i think he's a right back rotation uh, mm-hmm. even konsa is but konsa plays center back primarily so i just see him there mm-hmm. actually mm-hmm. it's one of the guyer konsa or brandwait so you choose right 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 ha 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 hmm i i say brandwait should start personally okay um but i wouldn't mind konsa but i would hate it if maguire starts yeah i think we all can agree for the fact that maguire is good for england no doubt but i think if we I have better options we <laughs> i Jones think we are the he... fastest that's the problem yeah. Johnson mm-hmm. isn't the quickest guy. He's quicker than Maguire, but he's not the quickest guy. If we have to deal with a counter attack, and if Walker gets caught out or Shaw gets caught out, Konsa has some inherent pace, a bit like mm-hmm. uh, Akanji. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think, and so does Brantford. So I, I, it's, it's really is between the two of them. I don't think you'll compromise so much of our pace. You need uh-huh. at least one centre back who can catch up and be physical mm-hmm. with the runner. Um, mm-hmm. So I say it's Konsa. Konsa. I think it's cool, Konsa. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, that's our uh, tier selection. That is what we think will be in the end with uh, six players dropping uh, from the main squad. I mean, at least seven players will be dropping from the main squad. Do let us know in the comment section what you guys think as well. Uh, if you want more such videos, do comment about that as well. There will be another video coming regarding uh, uh, re- regarding uh, Spain and Germany. So do watch out for that as well. Um, were there any final words before we end the video? Um, enjoy the India game. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. the match is probably yeah, in like in about 18 minutes so let, let, let's just hope it's ireland in the end but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see how that goes and this india qualifies for the finals i think yeah 
Yeah, yeah that's it. Oh, All right. Yeah. Well, really nice to yeah. see you again. And we'll probably do a lot more videos around that with more great. graphics uh, soon. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll keep thinking of yeah. new ideas over the summer. We can probably do one for Go for America, but we'll see. Sure thing. I will definitely do a link up for the Euros as well for the Indian and all that stuff. So yeah, definitely do do look out. Uh, so more such videos will be coming soon on the Football Showdown channel. Do watch it. Do keep subscribing. And uh, yeah, till we see you guys soon. Until then, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Peace. Peace.